These five Microsoft Excel filter tips and tricks will save you hours of work. What's up guys, I'm Dave, I'm a CPA. Feel free to use the timestamps to jump to specific parts of this video, but make sure you stay until the last tip because it is mind blowing. The first tip is to filter by top or bottom values. First, let me add my filters. I press Ctrl Shift L or I go into home and click on filter right here. Then I select whatever column I want. Let's say I want to filter the total amount here. I click on my filter then I go on number filter and then I select top 10. And actually here I will be able to select the top or the bottom values and put any number I want here. If I want the top five items in here, I just press five and then click OK and I have my top five values. You can do the same with the bottom values and that's about it. The second tip is to filter by color. This one can be really useful when you have a discussion with someone and then you take some time off and then you come back. Let me explain here. You have a discussion with your boss, you highlight this row let's say this row and then this row and then you close your excel you do whatever and then you have another discussion and he's like hey the four rows that we highlighted earlier and then you can't remember them because you didn't say so what you can do is just keep your colors there and then click on filter and then filter by color Something that I really like to do here is to do the conditional formatting. Let's say you want to filter everything above a thousand. You click on column D and then you go into conditional formatting here and then you put highlight cells rules greater than and let's put a thousand and I want them in green. Press OK. Everything that is above a thousand will be highlighted in green and then guess what? You can just click again on your filter filter by color and then select green so easy the third tip is auto filter what auto filter does is very simple it avoids you to endlessly scroll your data as you can see if i want to filter on rihanna all i do is press on rihanna and then press on alt on my keyboard and then one and then i want to filter only on cats i press on cat and alt one and then I want to filter only on the cat that has 100 of count. I click on the cell B18 here, Alt 1. Anyway, you got this. So this is much, much, much faster than just going in the list and select whatever you want to filter. So as you can see at the very top here, this is the auto filter button. It's not here by default in Microsoft Excel. So you have to add it into your customized bar at the top. To do so, you just click on the little arrow here, customize quick access toolbar, and then you click on more commands. And then here you go in all commands, and then you can press A on your keyboard to go down to auto filter. And then you just click add here and it's going to add it to your bar. And then when you press alt on your keyboard, there's going to be a little shortcut here, one through eight. And actually for me, it is the one button, but you can just go there and just click on it and it's going to work. I'm pretty sure you didn't notice it, but I will be surprised if you already knew it. Please tell me in the comments if you knew auto filter function. Tip number four is the customize filter. It is actually really useful because it can avoid to write formulas such as if, or, or and formula. So let's say in the total amount column, we want the values that are below 500 or above 5,000. We could write a formula in the column I, but it's gonna be faster to do it with filters. I just click on my filter here. I go into number filters, then I go down to customized filters. And then in the first total amount rows, I want less than 500. Then I check the or condition and then I select is greater than, and then you put 5,000 there. Here we go, click OK, and here we are. We are for both criteria in the same filter function. If you enjoyed this video so far, make sure to smash the like button so this video spreads around. 
Tip number five, this one is really, really powerful. My boss asked me to give him the sales of only specific sales rep. And let's say I have a very long list of data. So I don't really want to filter it manually. And my boss asked me, hey, can you give me Joe Biden, Donald Trump and Michael Jackson sales for the month? So I have them here in my list. I put them in yellow so you can see a little bit better, but I will show you the advanced filter, how strong it is. So basically, what I do, I go back up to my data set and then I go into data at the top here in the sort and filter ribbon. I click on advanced, then it's going to ask me the list range. The list range is basically your data set. And then what you need to put in is the criteria range. So where is my criteria? Very important here. My header here is called sales rep and my criteria range is actually in the tab five advanced and look at this i put only the same editor sales rep and i'm just going to select these three and what excel is going to do is going to actually filter my list with only these three specific criteria i click ok and here we go we have a filter with only what my boss asked michael jackson joe biden and donald trump for him he's going to have to deal with trump <laughs> more excel tips right here